Hey guys, welcome back to part 4 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Um, I was actually thinking earlier on that probably some of the people that are actually watching these videos haven't really ever played the game before, so it could be a little bit confusing about things like traits and things like that. Uh, just to go over it quickly, each person in the game has a series of good traits and bad traits. Normally the bad traits have a red background, good traits have a green background. So as you can see, each of these traits have different skills. So you have your diplomacy, martial stewardship, intrigue, and learning. So for example, kindness, minus two intrigue, plus two diplomacy, uh, vassal, which is obviously your people under you, your opinions plus ten, and somebody else is the same opinion is plus ten. Uh, diligent, etc, etc. Now the reason why these are important is because these will actually affect your points here. Okay, you say, well what are those points used for? Well, one of the things, for example, is technology. So for example, for your base military technology point growth, it's your learning plus your martial, and then it's a, I believe, a portion of that. So obviously the higher your learning skill is and your martial skill is, the quicker you'll advance your technology. Obviously the same applies for economic and culture. So learning is used for all of these. Now the main uh, the main trait that you get once you hit the age 16 is the last one here. So for example um, the character I'm playing at the moment is a fortune builder. So he has plus one martial, plus six stewardess, stewardship, one learning, and 10% for fertility. Now there's actually different variations of this. For example, fortune builders plus six, Midas touch is plus nine, I think there's a plus three one, and a plus one. Um, so for example, the character who plays my wife in this game, uh, she's a dutiful cleric, so that's only plus three, and it goes all the way up to so three, six, nine. Um, I'm actually going to post a link below where it actually has a pretty good guide on, you know, sort of developing your children and what the different traits in that are that you can have. So, for example, with this guy, he's six years old, and once you hit the age of six, they can actually be tutored by someone. And so what will happen, at least in this case with it being me, there will be certain events that pop up that give the option of, you know, I found such and such around the back torturing a mouse. And then you'll have the option to, whether you want them to keep the trait or lose the trait. Um, if, for example, let's say, so he has a son, for example, so this guy... He's a spy master of England, and he has a son, and he's actually tutoring his son. So you can see he'll start getting all these different traits. So that's just sort of a general listing of what they are. Um, some of the main ones that people look for are things like strong. Strong is very helpful because from the get-go, they've already get they'll get plus two martial, plus one diplomacy, ten percent fertility plus 2 health, 10% attraction opinion, and plus 10 vassal opinion. That's from the get-go. For example, another one that a lot of people like is uh, Genius. Sorry, I didn't mean to just hit my mic. So Genius gives you plus 5 pretty much across the board to everything. Uh, I think Quick gives you plus 3 across the board. So. The nice thing about these positive stats is it's something that can go through, hopefully, go through the generations for a few um, generations. So, like your best case scenario is, for example, a genius and strong, for example. Um, but I just thought I'd run through that quickly. Like I said, I'm going to post a link below of uh, what the different ones mean, and there's a guide that I found online which is pretty good at. Um, explaining it all. Um, the other thing that you find as well is with your marriages, sometimes you'll actually do it based off of trying to get uh, expansion to your land. So a great example of that is when I first started, I married Matilda of England, who eventually became, well, who eventually was going to become 
the Queen of England. It didn't quite work, but now my son is King of England. So when this guy dies and I start playing him, I'll be King of England, England which will be that, and Andalusia. And he'll be the heir of the Duchy of here. And his brother is currently the heir. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly he would get once... Um, once my main guy dies. So, where were we? I think we are just waiting at the moment for... Um, some stuff to happen. Now the other nice thing as well with these intrigue of, uh, with these decisions here you can do like the hunt and things like that and the feast you have a chance of picking up traits after you've hit the age of 16 or you're already on the throne. So, um, so I think I want to hold a summer fair once it's May. Go. I've given the order that summer fair should be held in Anjou this summer. This should make the peasants happy. And obviously, happy peasants is always a good thing. An errant monk is disturbing the summer fair by preaching about sins and the end of the world. His drivel is frightening some, but most of the cry around him is mocking and laughing at him. Um, I think I'm just going to say he's just another part of the entertainment. I'm not really too concerned if he's pissed at me. I can handle ten uh, plus or a, a loss in that. So I don't quite have enough yet to get a retinue. How is my military looking? Oh, um. So the other nice thing as well is I actually got him in Rome, so doing that means that the Pope is going to have an improved opinion. Which is never a bad thing, because apparently I'm dishonorable and I'm lustful. Which I guess is kind of bad. So I'm kind of hoping... Who owns that? Wales, I think. Yeah. See, I don't have any boats, so I can't even... Because I'm kind of landlocked here, I can't even do things like start aiming towards... Uh, ooh, uh, Ireland. So, tours will go to my second son. Okay, so it's great fun while it lasted. Oh, I don't have enough gold yet. So the other... Th oh, who are we at war with? Byzantine Empire. Apparently. And the Sultanate of Rum. How do we get... Who's fighting it? Okay, so Jerusalem... Okay, so Jerusalem's fighting. Wow, so they've got the HRE, France, and Jerusalem. I wonder if... Not quite at a point yet to. Uh, I don't know. Do I risk going to? Yeah, I guess I could. I could. All, I could risk a little bit going to um, help out in this war. So ooh, get everybody together. I'm hoping as well because you can sometimes pick up the uh, holy warrior trait. Which is always handy with uh, um, if you're fighting Muslims and things like that, because you get a bonus for it. Uh, I'm 
leader. He's inspiring leader, I think. Or cavalry. Cavalry, okay. How much cavalry cavalry does he have? Okay, so he, So that's my courtier. Oh. We don't know who the husband is. Or who the father is, sorry. Okay. Let's take a little jaunt to... I mean, I don't really mind so much about fighting uh, the Byzantine Empire because they did blind and castrate m my spy master. Poor dude. Blinded and castrated. <laughs> you want to become spy master? Yeah. I don't know, man. Let's see how my son's doing. Do who owns this? Oh, okay, the Duchy of Sicily. I guess that makes sense. Man, Italy's just been completely eaten up by the HRE. I mean, that's. I wonder how many. I'd hate to imagine how many troops HRE can. Pull together. Only 16,000. That's actually really surprising because England can pull in. almost the same amount. Hmm. Weird. Now that might go up more because it could be shitty because he has a poor martial score because he's only. seven years old. Man, I hope I get strong kids out of this. Because that would be really nice to have. Because it's always such a nice starting point for... Um, um, for your future kids. And I'm kind of hoping as well that... I can turn this guy into a martial type character. Although I hope his intrigue isn't going to go up much more. Where are we going? We're going to fight the Byzantine Empire. Now this could go horribly wrong really quickly. Because the Byzantine Empire could probably pull out a ton of people. Okay, so I'm going to tutor him as well. I normally find it's a nice idea to be able to, um... Am I... Oh, I am tutoring two people. Shit, okay. I'm gonna pause that a second. Um... What I want to try not to do is have arbitrary as a... trait. They're not really very good tutors. There we go. That works. And as they go up, the um, they get some of your traits or improvements. And what I'll do is I'll probably wait till he's 15 or so, and then. Um, just before he hits 16, get him tutored by someone who has the, um, the last trait that I want. Although that's not terrible. Let's have a look. 436, yeah. 
I don't really reckon I'm going to get any of my Cardinals at the moment into uh, into the College of Cardinals. Okay, so this is one of the events that you get from tutoring. So I had to break up a fight between my son John and another child today. John's heart is filled with envy. Uh, I don't really want him to have envy because he's the second son because it's not very handy to have because he will try and take the throne. Okay, so now is the kind trade. That's good. So his intrigue's gone down a little bit. I mean, I... Hmm. I was thinking I could give him tours. Give my second son tours, but I don't particularly want to. Holy shit. See, this is what I was concerned about, is that the Byzantine Empire has a stack of like, almost... There we go, 17,000 people. So while they're busy doing that stuff... I'm going to start making a little inroad with my 2,186 people. Oh, there. Oh, I was seeing it go. Where's the siege engines? But it was up there. I'm sorry. I don't have anywhere close enough people to be able to try and fight 17,000 people. Turkish, Sunni, Greek, Orthodox. Why is a Sunni in a... Oh, these are separate people. Are they fighting? I wonder... My son Richard has a tender, loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear he'll get hurt someday. Uh... Yeah. I don't mind that. Kind is good. Uh, the options. What I could do, I guess... Let me see. Range Betrothal... With my daughter. No, okay. I didn't think you'd accept a matrilineal marriage, but that's fine. I don't mind that. I can handle that. So this is one of the benefits of having my spy master out searching or studying technology is that I get a uh, a bonus in points, and it's random where it will go to. I went to culture. So, I could improve my light infantry or my cavalry. Um, I'm going to do light infantry, I think. I'm not even sure if trade practices has any benefit um, if you're not a merchant. Uh, sorry, a merchant republic, I should say. I might not, but. Oh, nice. Another bonus. Let's see where this goes to. That went to economic, I believe. And each of these will unlock different things that you can do in the... Oh, shit. Looks... Are they... Where are they heading to? Nicodemia. Okay, they're heading east instead of west. Which is good. Don't worry, Jerusalem. I'll sort you out. So, poor old Jerusalem... Is, uh... Kind of one's lonesome here. I mean, everything else around him is Sunni. Oh no, maybe not. No, no, sorry, I tell lies. He still has all this up here. 
that's fine. So it's not great. It's okay. Guillaume of French Revolt refused the retraction of his vassal Count Eudes of La Marche, demanded by King Louis of France. Well, I'm going to let Mr. Louis, or Louis, deal with the French Revolt. And if they manage to take that over, that's good for me. Oh, my wife's pregnant. Great. So obviously he still has it at the age of 28, and she still has it at the age of 39. She's not doing too badly for somebody that's chased four children. Well, three so far. Okay, so we got... Are you going to come attack me? Or no? Oh, okay, so you're from there. <laughs> So we seem to be not be we're not really being bothered by all this. Which I guess is good. I mean, I'm not complaining. I don't want their seventeen thousand people to come attack me. How are we doing for wealth? So we're still making one point five one. Anne Foss Jordan of French Revolt has declared war to lower the crown authority on King Louis the Fat. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually uh, kind of busy at the moment. So as long as they don't come bug me, I'll be happy. I mean, once my guy dies, then... Nice. So we managed to get 13.7 gold, which isn't bad. I'm not going to complain. Uh, okay, so they just lost a few more troops. So hopefully, once I can get this siege done, then uh, my ward came running for me, tears streaming down its face and snot creeping towards its mouth. Jeffrey, please help me. The children are not nice to me. Um... Minus 25. Well, I can handle minus 25. I don't care if she hates me. I mean, it's, I'm still plus 38. Don't bully your brother. So there's a French revolt. There's two French revolts happening. Oh shit, France, you're gonna get your ass kicked. It, this is what I was talking about um, with France breaking itself up. Now let's see. This is a tough one. Do I want him to have ambition? Ambition is nice because of the fact that he gets plus two to everything. Um, but they make poor vassals. I want to get him to lose it. I want to have to try and do it without having ambition. Colonel Thomas, good job. From Holstein.
Wow, so there's only one, uh... England's down to one. Look at HRE, they're fucking stacking it. They're stacking the College Cardinals. What the hell? I mean, really, guys? I mean, I guess once I get a, a chunk of change, I could maybe invest in, uh... Ooh, I got another daughter. Yes! Attractive daughters, daughters are always nice. Especially if they become queens of places. Because... Yeah, that plus one diplomacy boost. Uh, sure. We'll call you that. Man, it's pissing me off that I already owe 350 to the Jewish moneylenders. I think what I could do, actually, if I wanted to, um, he might not be a bad tutor for my second son. Um... I can find him. Oh, I can't, because he's... Fuck. Because he's in England. Um... Oops, fuck, educate child. Okay, so won't let him do it. Okay, never mind. It was it was a good idea for a few minutes. My son Richard is modest and humble, never showing off and bragging. Uh yeah, plus piety is I can handle that. So once I get this done, I'm actually going to stop the video, and then, how's the siege going? 16.8%. While I'm waiting, I'm going to have a look to see if... too concerned with fortifications at the moment. I mean, I should be, but I mean, by the time we get to the church, everything else would have fallen, so it's kind of pretty far down the, uh, the totem pole of, of needs. Um, what's the third one? Tours. Okay. Uh, we'll do Castle Walls, though. Ca Castle Walls is kind of handy. So I'm going to send you to Oversea Construction there. Because it kind of gives you a bonus to a couple of things. So levy size, a little bit more tax income, and a fort level. Okay. So that should hopefully increase that bit. See how we're doing sieging the Byzantine Empire. I forgot to look to see how much gold we got from the uh, last siege or place we sieged. And I could rush it, but or assault the holding, but I'd lose way too many people. Last thing I want to do is siege him and then have not enough people to siege the actual tower. It's at 92.4 anyway, so. Victory. So another 13.8 in gold. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's not terrible, but. 
Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that little bit of information I did at the beginning helped. And like I said, I'm going to post the videos, uh, post the links below for the information about the traits and also about uh, a guide that I found of um, educating your children and developing them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment below on what you thought of it. Like it, comment, share it, tell your friends about it. And I will see you next time.